There is no farmer who does anything without having plans for the harvest. In fact, the main reason for sowing is simply because we want to harvest more than what we sow. Which of us is not excited about the seasons when things are fresh from the farms? Fresh mangoes, apples, bananas, beans, maize, you name it. Farmers are always the most excited about your harvest. When a farmer sows a crop, what keeps him going? What makes him to wait? What makes him go out and water the farm? What makes him weed the farm? What makes him not sure the crops, even when places are cold, is his vision of the harvest. He is hoping for a bountiful harvest. He believes that what he will reap will be much more than what he had sown. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 10 to 11 says, For God is the one who provides seeds for the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way, he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. And when we take your gifts to those who need them, they will thank God. That thing that you have always been waiting on would yield fruits. That contract, it will surely yield. All the time you spent working hard on prayer for your parents or your siblings and spouse, kids, boss, you will reap harvest. Your harvest is coming. Just keep holding on, keep sowing, keep hoping, keep believing that your harvest is coming. And though it may tarry, it will surely come. Look at an Indian bamboo, for example. When it is planted, it takes five years to produce. Four of those years are spent watering, tending for the crop, which is still under the ground. No signs of progress, no signs of growth, no proof that it has been nurtured, nothing. The farmer in this time just has to be patient and keep doing what he is doing, knowing that his harvest is coming. He shall surely reap bountifully in the years to come. He cannot stop walking just because people say so. He can't stop believing in his product and work just because people are calling him foolish now. He can't just stop tending to his products because he's been patient for too long or it's been four years. If he quits now, it will be understandable. Four years is a long time to wait for something to spring forth. A lot of people in the world start praying to God about a matter and just after a few days or weeks or months or even a year, they give up. They say, God is too slow. They say, I've been asking God to bless me with a good job that is legal and can make my life more comfortable, but it's been two years, it's been three years or it's been five years, yet I'm still moving from one menial job to the other. What I earn is barely enough to take care of my bills, not stuck of giving me a comfortable life. So maybe you decide to give in to the opportunity that's been on your face all this while that you have been rejecting because your conscience won't let you. Things like hacking, arm robbery, prostitution and so on. So you kill your conscience because you couldn't keep hope alive. You gave up way too soon. You have been working, you have been praying, you have been trusting all the years of holding on to justice and not for nothing. God is walking you through a path for something that will last. Like the Indian bamboo, which when it springs forth, takes little time to grow so high and gets noticed by all. Also, after all those years and it finally grows out, not any kind of wind can bring it down. It can withstand all these little breeze and wind that blow at it because its roots are strongly held under the ground. It has built capacity and stamina over the years. This is the same thing with a child of God that God is working with. Your progress may not be evident for the moment. People may think you were just wasting your time seeking a harvest from a place that is obviously dead to them. But you know, you know that something is cooking on the inside. You know that something is building up in the secret place. You know that you have invested. You know that you have done your part. You have done all that it takes for a bountiful harvest. So keep hope alive. God is a faithful God. He is a just God. He is a just God. He won't fail you. He may come seemingly late by our calendar, but remember that he said a thousand years before us is only a minute before him. He is working on something in you. When God will be done with you, the world and even your soul won't be ready for what God will present. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3, 
For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. It is for a set time. Your harvest is for a set time. It will surely come. You will see the results. You will reap what you have sown. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he a son of man that he should repent. If he says a thing, trust that it will come to pass. So if he says what you sow, you will reap in many folds. For that matter, you just need to hold on. Don't give up on yourself yet. Don't give up on your family yet. Don't give up on that kid yet. Don't give up on that marriage yet. Keep nurturing it. Keep praying. Keep fasting. Keep investing. Keep reading. Keep going to school. Keep searching. One day, you will be glad you didn't give up. You will be glad you held on. When you will see your harvest, you will even be glad it took that much time to come because now you will be prepared. You would have known all that is needed to be known. You should have been in a better position for it to benefit not only you, but your company, your business, your home, your family, your country, and of course, the world at large. Your harvest is coming. The time for harvest is now. You will soon smile. You will soon rejoice. You will soon reap the fruit of your labor. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says, And let us not be weary in doing well, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Harvest is coming in your life. All the seeds of love you have sown into the lives of others and into the kingdom of God. You have been growing and the time for a harvest of blessing is coming. You will reap it. So believe God for the harvest of blessings and prosperity you have been praying for. God bless you.